Hey YouTube, so I made my first video about an hour ago and I've already received my first comment and I was just watching some videos, not really doing much and I thought, why not reply to it straight away? Um, so, the, I got a question from Mike's Viewpoint and it says, what did you think of the draw at UFC 125? Um, obviously this was in the past week, Edgar V. Mayner and going into it, I didn't really think it was going to be a great fight. Um, I thought it would be good, but nowhere near the level that it was at. So, the main controversy over it all is the draw decision. Was it right? Was it wrong? Um, I've got to admit, I think for the most part, it was the, good, it was the best decision. But I have a few issues with it. Okay, so... Let's look at the scoring of the fight. 48-46, Edgar. 48-46, Mena. 47-47, straight down the middle. First thing first. There is no way Edgar won that fight. 48-46. Whoever the judge was, I, I have no idea how he came to that conclusion. Just not even happening. Okay, so I think the best way to see who won or whether it was a draw or whatever is just to look at round by round and see how we think it scored. So round one, no question. Grey Maynard took that. He dropped Frankie a couple of times, I think two or three times, threw 97 punches. He, Egg was in purely survival mode. He had no hope. Of, he was lucky the referee even didn't stop the fight. And props to the referees, they get a lot of stick, but they did good in their fight. And they let it run, they let it run. And as we saw in the second round, Frankie was recovered, he was fine. So Gray took the first round, but we'll leave the scoring of it to the end. Because I think that's a key round in deciding whether this fight was accurately judged. So, second round, Gray is gassed, he's tired, and he's still fighting, but I think Frankie took it. Round three, close, close round again. All, all, three through, round two well, through five were all close rounds. But I think Gray took the third round. I, that's universe accepted. Round four, less close. Frankie took it. Round five, you can argue either way. But I personally believe Frankie took that fifth round. He worked more. He landed the, the cleaner strikes. I... You can make an argument for Grey winning that round, but I, I, I'm leaning more towards Frankie. So, at the end of all this, we've got Grey winning two rounds, Frankie winning three. Now, just forget the whole MMA scoring system, forget everything. It's a street fight. The winners decide on damage. I think Grey won the fight. He did, in a street fight sense, he did more damage. He had Frankie seriously rocked and though Frankie did better in the latter rounds there is no way that he did the same amount of damage that Gray did at the beginning but with the 10 point must scoring system in MMA I think it doesn't really accurately represent the fight for a lot of decisions and this is one of them in theory you can have a 10-8 round, no, a 10-7 round, sorry, a 10-6 round, you can have a 10-0 round, but you're not going to see it. And I think this would have been a prime example in round one of a 10-7 round, but I don't think judges are willing to give 10-7 rounds. I don't think they understand the sport adequately enough to give it, or... They're just not really confident enough to go for it and say 10-7. And it's a problem with the scoring system. Because guys who are inflicting this much domination on the round, again, eked out in decisions like this one. So, I, if the scoring system was holding true, I think Gray won the fight. But the scoring system isn't true. And you we're in the situation now where you get... 10-9 for winning a round quite effectively or even slightly and everything else is a 10-8 round in this respect I think a draw was a good decision 
So in conclusion, just to sum up the video, um, Dana White said, I believe, that he thought the fight was a contender for the fight of the year. And with the fact that this fight being fought on the 1st of January, that's pretty high praise from the head of the UFC. Um, I, I have to agree it was a good fight. And it may be a contender for the fight of the year, but I think looking at the schedule ahead of us, we've got a lot of good fights that could knock it off its pedestal. Um, judges, the judge that scored the fight, 48-46 in Egg's favour, just finished. He should be done. Not, in my opinion, I don't, I can't see how he got the result. I've looked at it, the fight, and I don't see how Frankie came out of that two points ahead. I, it's beyond me. I'm speechless. <laughs> I think the judge that gave the fight 48-46 to Maynard was being a little bit generous. Um, and I, I don't think that was a fair result. I can live with the, the third judge's decision at 47-47 down the middle. As, like I've said, with the current way that MMA scored and people being tentative to give 10-7 rounds, I think then that the 47-47 was a fair fair decision. The first round being 10-8 towards Gray, second round 10-9 Frankie, third round 10-9 Gray, fourth and fifth round 10-9 Frankie. If the system though was being used correctly and it was possible and physically practical to give a 10-7 round, I think a 10-7 round would have been just in that situation with the first round was just utter domination and if we can't all agree that that round was a 10-7 round then I don't think there is such a thing as a 10-7 round in mixed martial arts so like the video this video is quite conflicted because I think the 10-7 round is a fair result and in a perfect world it's the accurate result but with the means that the mixed martial arts judges of today have the 10-8 the, the was the correct way to go well that's my opinion and i know some people will agree with it some people won't and either way i'd like to hear from you guys I'd like you to comment or video respond anything if you liked my opinions like the video i don't know just i, w I want to know what you guys think i want to know if you thought the review was good just tell me everything i'm new at this i want to get better i want to provide better content for you guys also, if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about, please just comment on it. And like this, I got a comment and I was awake, I was around, I had nothing to do, so I immediately replied to it. Um, thanks a lot, YouTube, and I'll see you around.